In this tutorial on pure data, we're going to see what the send and receive objects in pure data do. So rather than talking about it, let's just go ahead. I'm going to put on an object here. I'm just going to put in the object name called send. And one of the arguments on send, it just needs a label. And I'm going to put in a label. We can choose any label, but I'm going to choose message. I click off it. And let's just go straight in here and go into the help menu and see what it says. So help. Um, and what it says, send messages without patch cords. The whole idea behind these send and receive objects is that in one part of my patch I can have a particular type of signal or a particular type of number that is coming into the send object and then in another part of my patch I can receive that message through the receive object without any patch cords between them. And there's lots of good things about that. First of all, if I've got a very complicated patch uh, it doesn't have connectors going each and every way across uh, my whole patch, so that's really good and keeps it quite tidy. But also, it works across different patches as well. So I might have one patch doing a particular type of uh, feature or operation on a signal or a message, and then it sends the result of that into another patch altogether. So it creates this level of abstraction as well. So let's just go ahead and see what I can do with this. At the moment, I've just got one inlet on this send object, and I'm going to put in uh, a number box here to test it. Uh, attach it into that inlet and somewhere else I'm going to just put in a new object I'm going to say receive e -V -E. Uh, just make sure that we have to have the same label that I chose up here so whatever the label is I choose that's what you receive in on the other side and so receive is going to get the message in there and I've just got one outlet and let's just put that into another number box so put that in there and let's try it out. I'm going to put it into run mode. And then you're just going to see, I'm going to click and drag on this number box up here. And it should send the message straight through to the receive message, which is really great. Now, just to show you the whole idea behind the labels, if I put in another label here, and then I put it back into run mode, it breaks the link. So that's what that label is. It's really not anything to do with pure data. It's something that you, the user, chooses. But as, as long as the different send label and the receive labels match, then the messages should go through. Incidentally, it's also an option not to have any label in there. So if I just have send and I just have a generic receive, well, obviously, it's going to go through there as well. Uh, but it doesn't matter what kind of a receive I have. Uh, it will receive them on all of them. So uh, if I want to have specific message be messages been sent to specific receive objects, uh, then I should use different labels, obviously. Now, more often than not, when you see these send and receive objects in patches, generally the send and receive is abbreviated, and that will also work. So sends will usually be abbreviated to S's, and receives will usually be uh, abbreviated to ORs, and so we can see that will work there as well. They work exactly the same, and you see the difference there. Uh, both that OR object and the receive object, they're both receive objects, they're both receiving the messages from the send. These send and receive objects, they'll work with all manner of different objects leading into them. So for instance, I've got a number box here, but I could also use a toggle box, slider bar, message boxes, any of those different things will work, but also signals as well. So let's try that out. If I want to put a signal into this send and receive that signal out through uh, these receives here, let's try it. Uh, I'm going to go into the edit mode. Um, I'm going to put in a new object here, which is an oscillator object. And that's a signal, so I need a tilde after it as well. Now, just be aware, if I try and attach that oscillator straight into my send object as it is, it won't connect. And you'll probably guess what's missing there already. Because this is a wave being sent through, any object that deals with a wave or a signal it should have a tilde after it. And it's the very same with the send. Um, so as soon as I put a tilde there, that will attach to that. That's good. Attach my frequency in there. And then... I want to bring that out through either of these receives here, but again, because it's receiving a wave, I should have a tilde after that on that side as well. And so I'm going to put in a new object here, PAC, tilde, receive that out through that, and attach it onto my two speakers. And let's try it, make sure your sound is on. and. 
and we can hear it there. So that's the uh, the wave going through. Now, as I've said a few minutes ago, uh, one of the great things about this uh, send and receive objects, not only can you send and receive in the same patch, but you can send from one patch and receive in another patch completely. So just to show you that, I'll click new, bring in a new canvas here, and uh, I'm just going to take, I'll just delete that stack there, but I'll take this stack from there and paste it into my new patch. And let's just bring that over. Okay. And uh, if I just reorder my patches here. So I've got a send in one and a receive in another. So let me try that and put it into run mode. And, and we can see that's working just as well there. And again, same thing goes with the different labels that I might want to put in there, especially if I've got lots of different send objects and lots of different received objects in different patches. I should put in some kind of label. Again, it doesn't matter what it is as long as it stays consistent. So you'll see there, it's not receiving it anymore because I'm sending a particular label. I haven't labeled it the same label over here. So I need to get back in here, put in any label. I'm just putting in the generic word label here just to show you that's the same. And as soon as I do that, it receives the message. So that's the send and receive objects in pure data. And it's very useful.